Advanced or metastatic melanoma means melanoma that has not only started in the skin or in the lymph nodes or what we call the local regional area, but has spread and is no longer surgically removable. That is, it can no longer be removed by the surgeon to render the patients free of disease. That usually means it has spread to the distant organs. And that's the scenario where the medical oncologist now calls upon all of the drugs in our armamentarium to try to treat it and put it into remission. The drugs we most commonly use fall in two categories, either immunologic drugs, which are the ones used most commonly, and those immunotherapies are drugs that in general disinhibit the immune system, which is highly suppressed in melanoma and many other cancers. There is also targeted therapy. Targeted therapies are usually oral drugs that are deliberately developed to target genetic changes in the melanoma, not in the patient, but in the melanoma. So about 40-50% of melanomas have a genetic change or a mutation called BRAF or BRAF. And if you have a drug that can specifically block it, it will cause the tumor to shrink and cause benefit for the patient. We will often use those oral drugs in combinations. We call them the BRAF and the MEK drugs. And there are three combinations that are FDA approved. We will use that if the patient's tumor has the mutation, otherwise, the patients tend to get treated with immunologic therapy, and there are multiple possible immunologic therapies alone or in combination that we use in the clinic to, in my view, fairly successfully treat metastatic melanoma. Fifteen years ago, the average survival of a patient with metastatic melanoma was about 10 months. Today, it's probably around 40 to 50 months. That's a big difference, and in the future, it's only going to get better. <laughs>